Services here in eastern Iowa say the damage from last night's storm is widespread, but the damage wasn't as severe as it could have been. KCR GTV 9's Rebecca Vaughn met with tree services today about what they're seeing. Rebecca? One of those tree service companies told me there could have been a lot more trees on the ground today, but the 2020 derecho may have actually helped keep some of them standing through last night's winds. <laughs> The winds really picked up. We could see the trees moving. And it looked an awful lot like when it uh, was during the derecho. show. Kevin Hendrickson and his family took shelter in their basement during Monday night's storm. When they emerged, they found a 50-foot tree had been blown over in their backyard. It survived the derecho, so I thought it would survive anything. In Cedar Rapids, the wind split this tree in half, knocking it over onto a roof and on top of power lines. Cedar Rapids was mostly sticks and debris, and that was probably about it. This is the best I've seen so far. <laughs> These trees may have come down, but one of the groups cleaning up debris said the 2020 derecho may have actually helped keep other trees standing. If we'd have had all the trees we had, but all the millions and millions of trees we lost in the derecho sort of thinned everything out and there's more air, the wind can go through the trees more, that, that way they don't break more trees up. Another service said having trees thinned out periodically can also help keep them upright during windstorms. That helps tremendously from them blowing over. If this was thinned out, it probably would have never blew over. A lot of people want to remove trees. I always recommend thinning them out. That way the wind can blow through it and it's not a wall. Camilla recommends thinning trees roughly every three years. Cedar Rapids received roughly 120 reports of tree, tree damage and debris yesterday. Lia Energy reported having 20,000 customers out of power in Iowa at one point. Today, they expect any remaining customers to have power by this evening. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG, TV9 News.